I'm saying the caramel could be sexy. The tempura batter just weird. What is up guys? So we're going out to eat now, but before we got there, I wanted to play a little game with Glenn. Glenn, have you ever played the game Would You Rather? No. Well, you're going to now. Alright, well, I've got found some good questions for you, then we'll see how you do. Alright, Glenn, would you rather fight Conor McGregor or get hit by a smart car at 60 miles an hour? I would fight Conor McGregor. Why would you fight Conor McGregor? It's less embarrassing. That's true, I guess you get more honor out of that. Would you rather have a pet tiger that fights besides you in combat, or have a pet wolf that you can ride anywhere? Yes. I'll take the tiger. Tiger? Why? Well, I, I feel like if I ride the wolf, it doesn't have a long lifespan. Alright, would you rather skip everywhere you walk, or every chair you sit in is slightly uncomfortable? No, yeah, I'd skip. It's actually more efficient than walking. <laughs> but you would skip everywhere. Because you would move faster, one, and it's more efficient. But you'd be more tired. No, wrong. Skipping is more efficient than walking. Why don't you do that nowadays, then? No, well, because I'm lazy. <laughs> would you rather be amazing at every single instrument, or speak every single language known to me? Like, amazingly good at the instrument, like world class. Yep. Yeah, I'd pick that. Why? Because music is also the same in every language. Science. Would you rather have a triple chin that can never go away? It's like, does it have any skills or is it just, no, just, just, just there? Just have a triple chin like that. Okay. It's like okay. really bad. Or have a constant wedgie. Wedgie? You have a wedgie. Gr girls like that. You know, they wear thongs and stuff. <laughs> I can imagine if you get used to it. Imagine That's true. Thongs are forced wedgies, huh? Yeah, I can't imagine myself getting used to looking at myself with a triple chin. Okay, would you rather have the ability to read minds or be able to see two minutes into the future? The future thing. Two minutes into the future? Yeah, the mind things might, might go wrong sometimes. Would you rather have your face used as a chair by fat people or as your your back used as a bridge by fat people? The bridge! What? What the fudge? Like, that's a terrible question. You would do like some damage to your back. Yeah, better than having pink eye 24-7. <laughs> I'd rather be paraplegic than have all these fat people sit on my face. <laughs> Would you rather produce caramel under your arms whenever you sweat or have tempura battered nipples 24-7? Caramel, that seems, sounds like it could be useful. <laughs> what is armpit sweat caramel? But then you just have tempura battered nipples, like nothing. That's, yeah, that's weird. It doesn't have any effect. It exactly, I think I picked that one. It can't be used for anything. But then it won't bother your day. Imagine you're just hooping and then caramel starts dripping out your armpits. Well, that's the same thing as sweat. <laughs> but it's like dripping. Like, it's caramel. It's not the same thing as sweat. It's all sticky and stuff. <laughs> Who thought of this question? All right, would you rather eat or not eat right now? Depends. Is there caramel? <laughs> <laughs> What is up guys, we are back with another episode of Hype Foods and today we are at Koreatown Pizza Company here in Koreatown. Glenn, have you ever heard of Korean pizza? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of it, but I found this place. I was looking online and it just popped up on my Instagram actually. And I saw this really, really dope pizza so I had to come and try it. So apparently here they put bulgogi and a lot of other extra good stuff on their pizza. So I'm really excited for that, Glenn. I love pizza. I love Korean barbecue. Should be a good combo. We will see what happens. <laughs> right, let's just go inside and try this piece already. So we ordered a pizza called the Kingsley. The Kingsley has a blooming onion on it, corn, and bulgogi. Yes, sir. It, it looks so good. It looks a like combo. So it also has like a cheese crust. It has one of my favorite things in there, mushrooms. So I feel like they just like read my mind on pizza and they just made it. There's nothing on this that I dislike. Let's just dig in. Oh my god. Uh, oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Cheers. <laughs> it's that perfect salty sweet balance. Sometimes I'm afraid that like bulgogi is a little too sweet. This is like just perfect. Everything's cooked really well. The blooming onion is just lightly deep fried, so it has that really nice crisp. The crust cooked perfectly. It's a little flaky on the outside, and then it has that really soft, doughy inside. I can't even talk. 
When I hit the table, like the smells, super good. And then the taste lives up to the hype, for sure. Oh, is this potato? Oh, it's inside the crust. They put potato in the crust. It's like they give you an appetizer and a dish at the same time. Right. They put a whole blooming onion on top. Let me tell you this though. Nothing about this, when I close my eyes, resembles pizza. Really? Why? Go drive and take a bite of one. Yeah? It's good. Yeah? Because you get the dough, and it's like cheesy still. Yeah, I guess it's just like a really unique pizza. I think you mean it's just because the tomato's not running through it. Yeah, there's not. it's not like really tomato based. Uh, every single thing here plays its role. This pizza's like the 01 Lakers. I think the only thing that I would think could make this better is if they use short rib. That's lavish right there. Alright guys, we're gonna keep digging into this pizza. We'll get right back to you, okay? We just finished eating at Koreatown Pizza Company and I am extremely full. That pizza blew me away. It was so good. Not only was it flavorful, but it was extremely filling. It was enough for us two, maybe enough for four. Honestly, you could feed four because like... <laughs> maybe five. Because like I was saying inside, the whole pizza is like an appetizer in a meal because they put a whole damn blooming onion on it. <laughs> All the flavors worked great. That bulgogi, corn, the grilled onions, the fried onion. And just looking at it, it has that wow factor. A couple surprising things is that they had the sweet potato inside the crust. I mean, I probably would have preferred cheese. I definitely want to come back. There's this calzone that I really want to try. Oh, yeah. And they just have a lot of stuff on their menu that is really interesting, and I really want to come back and give it a shot. So thank you again, guys, for coming out and watching our videos. If you guys are in K-Town, please check out Koreatown Pizza Company. I will put a link for the restaurant below. If you guys want to see some more of us, please subscribe. If you guys already do subscribe, hit that bell button down below. If you guys have any other places in Koreatown that you think we should try, please let us know. So give us a big thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time on Hype Food.